smoking, not eating your five a day, drinking too much and being overweight. We've known for years they're bad for our health, but today, for the first time, a figure has been put on the danger. 100,000 cases of cancer could be avoided every year in the UK if we just changed our lifestyles. Jackie Gredhill is a cancer survivor. After her operation to remove a tumor from her thyroid, she took back control. She lost five stone in 18 months through regular exercise and a healthy diet. It's too late once they tell you that you've got something that could take your life away from you. No point in sitting there going, if only you've got the chance now to say, I can make a change. Today's report shows that 40% of all cancers in women and 45% in men could be prevented. That's almost half. But different factors affect the sexes in different ways and men are more at risk. Smoking is by far the biggest danger, causing 23% of cancers in men and over 15% in women. When it comes to diet, a lack of fruit and veg was linked to just over 6% of male cancer patients, but only 3.5% in their female counterparts. And with alcohol, that figure was 4.6 versus 3.3%. The trend is reversed, though, when you consider obesity. Just over 4% of cancers in men were linked to being overweight, while it accounted for almost 7% in women. We can't guarantee that if someone leaves a, leads a healthy lifestyle, they will never get cancer. What we can say is if people make these changes to their lifestyles, they can stick, significantly stack the odds in their favour. So the advice is out there. We all know the risks. But publishing reports is the easy part. Getting people to change their lifestyles is much, much harder. Sally Bidolf, ITV News.